The proposed mega yacht marina for Victoria's Inner Harbour certainly is in doubt tonight. The City of Victoria has rejected the plan, arguing that the $20 million marina infringes on its rights and limits its access to a park in Vic West. The city also wants a full risk assessment of the project. The issue is currently before the federal and provincial governments, and the developer tonight is saying very little. But people who live along the harbour have plenty to say about it. It's a hot topic along the waterfront. The question many people are asking, is a proposed mega yacht marina in the Songhees a good fit? I'm really, really upset about the thought of our walkway being disturbed. I want to see this area maintained for, for the people who live here. I think it makes about as much sense as to uh, uh, leasing about six acres of uh, Beaconel Park and uh, putting a giant parking lot for Winnebago's in there. That's about what this reminds me of. Victoria Councillor Chris Coleman took to the airwaves today to lay out the city's position. We That's need to make Coleman sure we have the... unimpeded access to our land adjacent to where the marina would be. The city concluded a navigation access study of the area fronting Lime Bay Park and believes the proposed marina configuration will limit vessel access to the foreshore. Coleman says he believes the federal and provincial governments need to hear the city's specific concerns. The city hasn't said no. We recognize that in the official community plan and the Songhees plan, there is the entitlement to a marina. The city of Victoria has said, we do have an interest in the riparian rights of the property next door to where the marina might be, and that's Lime Bay Park. Under the riparian principle, all landowners whose property is adjacent to a body of water have the right to make reasonable use of it. The Integrated Land Management Branch applies a standard when evaluating whether riparian rights of access are affected. The report found the city's emergency vessels and vessels of a similar size would have difficulty accessing foreshore areas of Lime Bay Park based on the proposed marina configuration. Think about uh, search and rescue attempts. You don't want to have impeded access to your property. The developer of the proposed marina project says he is working on some material and plans to speak with the media later this week. However, Bob Evans tells A News he feels the public is being misled by some of the statements coming from City Hall. He wasn't prepared to elaborate. We have a concern that the part of the marina that abuts or goes out in front of Lime Bay Park impedes our access. Coleman says any addition will impact what is already a very busy harbour. He says a full risk assessment is needed and a mitigation strategy should be developed based on those findings. Eric joins us now with more on the story. So, what, uh, Eric, what happens now? What's next in the process? Well, no word on the timeline just yet, but the city, Chris Coleman, on behalf of the city, says that right now they're going to wait until these applications are dealt with before the provincial and federal governments. He says if an application is presented to the city's Land and Planning Use Committee, uh, it could go to a public hearing if variances are requested. And as we mentioned in the story, we can expect to hear from the developer later this week. All right, well, watch for that, Eric Thompson. Thank you. You're welcome.